Hey everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sean. And today we're reviewing a movie called Valley Girl. Valley Girl, you say? Isn't there already a movie called Valley Girl? Is there? Very clever, you. Yes, there is, from 1983, starring Nicolas Cage. Um, so this movie is both a remake and not a, and a sequel. <laughs> that makes no sense, but let me tell you. Um, so the 1983 movie was about two star-crossed lovers, Julie, played by Deborah Foreman, the Valley Girl. She is very preppy, as every single one of her friends are. You know, they live for the mall. And uh, she is going out with an arrogant jock, as you do. <laughs> yeah. But catches the eye of a hunky punk. Ooh. Nicholas Cage was the punk. I know it's... Hard to believe. Yeah. He was the punk back then. So they're not supposed to go be together. They come from two different worlds. It's going to clash. Everybody's concerned for them. Um, so in the 2020 version, um, that girl, Julie, is now grown up. She is now the mother herself of a teenage girl who's just come home from a party. She's done that thing where, you know, parents always say, if you ever need a ride home, no questions asked. Well, she's pulled that. And her mother's got some questions, as they always do. Don't believe it, but use it anyways. There's no question your mom could ask that is <laughs> worth getting home unsafely. And, you know, mom's trying to be one of those cool moms and just worm it out of her daughter. Her daughter doesn't want to talk because she just broke up with her boyfriend. And the mother, who is played in the 2020 version of the film by Alicia Silverstone, which is kind of a genius casting move, and we'll talk about that more in a minute. She sits her daughter down. Let's unplug. No cell phones. Let me tell you a story about my first love. Nicolas Cage? Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> so then the movie goes back to the 80s, and uh, we see the whole story unfold uh, with a whole new cast of young actors playing these same characters. So that's how they cleverly did it. Uh, so it, it's still the same Julie. She's just a middle-aged mom now. And she's telling about, oh, those beautiful 80s days and the young love she found. And everything was sunny and shiny. Yes. Remember those days? Well, they didn't exist. Of course not. <laughs> but they do in the movie. Yes, they very much do in the movie. Um, not only do the sunny days exist, but the 80s are hyper real. The 2020 version is way more 80s than the 80s version. <laughs> and they're pretty like shameless about this. You know, they are amping it up. It's turned up to 11. They're making no bones about this. They are appealing to the nostalgia factor. And the funny thing about the 80s is it may be the one decade that you don't have to have lived through or been young during to have 80s nostalgia. We are still pumping out 80s nostalgia like Stranger Things. Uh, you, that's appealing it to it. It's a whole <laughs> genre yes, in and of itself. You're exactly. absolutely right. And this is one of those things. Uh, it, it's really... Um, admitting its own identity and very much owning it. Yeah, and I think that's really how this movie succeeded for me, mm -hmm. is it really does invest. It is not just playing <laughs> songs from the 80s. No. It is playing all the songs that sound like an 80s song. Yes. And everybody is always wearing an 80s costume. They're not just wearing regular going to school clothes. They are, you know, the most, the epitome of the 80s is constantly happening every day in this world. So it's kind of wonderful just to see it so is. much 80s. <laughs> and they had a costume party, a bunch of high school kids, of course, yes. with the best 80s costumes you could possibly yeah. come I up mean, with. I mean, I was like, 
okay, they're rich kids, so I get that they may have spent some money on these costumes, but also they're like time invested. They're not afraid to go all out. You know, usually it's hard to convince teenagers to, to do this, especially teenage boys, let alone, you know, really go for the, I mean, show up dressed as Prince. <laughs> like that's a hard cost to maintain, to maintain for an entire evening. It is. It's also would have been very hard in 1983, say, yeah. to have some of these costumes which reference other <laughs> years that haven't even yes. come yet. Yes. But, but it's, it's forgivable. Absolutely true. But it's forgivable because it's so it's the wonderful 80s. and unabashed. So of course, uh, as the story goes, preppy, naive little Julie, comfortable in the valley, meets a young punk named Randy from the wrong side of the hills. Um, yeah, so she dumps the jerk Mickey, her tennis playing jock boyfriend. As you do. <laughs> yes, as you should. And okay, maybe we should also get this out of the way. I kind of told Sean, this movie actually was shot back in 2017 and was intended for a theatrical release in 2018, but was pulled because Logan Paul plays Mickey, the bastard boyfriend, the tennis playing popped collar douchebag. Um, Logan Paul, as you may or may not know, is a YouTube personality. And I use the word personality very loosely here. I mean, he is a douchebag. He is probably perfectly cast for playing a douchebag. You take one look at his face and you totally believe it. You don't need any further proof. And yet he has, in real life, given us much proof. And it is documented because he's so stupid on his YouTube channel. So he's not a good person. Uh, he has certainly been surrounded by many controversies. Unfortunately, the film had finished filming before a lot of the stuff started coming out, like his, the suicide footage that he posted. Uh, very problematic things that probably the director would have been wanting to <laughs> distance herself from. But unfortunately, he was cast. It was already done. So all they could do was pull it from the schedule which is unfortunate because I kind of liked this movie. I enjoyed it, it's fun. Yes, so we're just gonna put that out there. It does star him, I mean, it's not it's a not, He's a not a huge role. No, it's a supporting character. So you are gonna have to put up with him, but I feel As like- As you, you said, can... you don't like the guy in <laughs> yeah, this movie. That's true. So it really, I think, it we can live with casting, it. It is casting and it's not a huge role. So if you can overlook that, I had fun with this movie. That said, is it a great movie? Of course it's not. Um, I think it just embraces the cheesiness. Not just embraces it, but I think it, that it, it is. That's, that's it. the aim. That's, yes. that's what it's going for. And it is a jukebox musical, which means there all there is no original music in this. It is an '80s soundtrack. And Even the Sean original said, song is not an original song. <laughs> That's right. It is not just a soundtrack from the 80s. It is every song that is synthesizer heavy. Like they fully identify as 80s songs, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and they have so many synthesizer heavy songs. They can even take like a car song and punk it up. Mm -hmm. And they don't lose anything because there's <laughs> so many right. other songs that are giving you that 80 synth vibe. That's right. Um, so in that respect, I just kind of went with it and I enjoyed it. I don't think it's a great movie because it's not a great movie. And That's in okay. some regards, exactly. I feel like it's not trying, it, obviously it's not treading any new ground. It's embracing that cheesiness. It's going for the gusto, so you kind of have to admire it. Obviously, they're having fun with the theme. Totally cast with very talented, I would say, young actors, who none of whom were born in the 80s. Uh, of course not, because <laughs> they'd be Alicia Silverstone. Yeah, <laughs> which is so depressing. Of course, Alicia Silverstone was the teenage girl in my teenage movie. I am not from the 80s like this guy. 
she starred in Clueless, Clueless. which is a similar kind of movie. Yep. Um, so it is. It is good I casting, think it like is you said. It's to us directly with that. I think we're like, <gasps> Cher is grown up. Cher can have a teenage daughter. Of course she can. The math works out. This is what's happening, guys. This is what's happening to all of us. It's crazy. I do like, though, mm -hmm. that a teen from the 90s is now playing the mom who grew <laughs> up in the 80s. Yeah. Because I think we're just still not there where we can look fondly back on the 90s. I think it may just still be too uncomfortable. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> That's right. It is. That was a rough one. For a yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> the 80s is cheesy and it always knew it. Mm -hmm. The 90s was supposed to be super serious. We thought we were cool. Thought at we time. were cool. Yeah. It didn't happen. No. <laughs> it never does. And I think that all the time now, because I do have those regrettable 90s photos, all the time now I'm like, this is a trend and it, I'm going to be embarrassed about this in five years. So no, <laughs> don't do it. But we had, uh, we didn't learn anything from the 80s, but the 80s really was just, I mean, it was cheesy at the time. Yes, it was. Absolutely <laughs> you know? was. That was part of the what made things 80s. Yeah. Yes. Even in the 80s. Uh -huh. So, I, you know, I kind of had fun with it. It is I fun. It's, it. it made me smile. As you said, it's not a great movie. It's not trying to be. If it had tried to be great, I think it wouldn't have been as fun. So what would exactly. have been the point? What's the point? That's right. And there are some cameos from some of the original Valley Girls. So, you know, blink and you'll miss them. They're, they are cameos, but... A lot of the original cast returns. Um, and Sean was just having fun, you know, playing Name That Song. Because they don't always start out the way they were intended. <laughs> so it does take you a minute to play the song. Yeah. So see how well you do. Mm -hmm. Some of them are hard because they are, these are not uh, the original tracks. Mm -hmm. These are the actors <laughs> singing them and yeah. they are remixed and mashed up for the the vibe of the scene <laughs> that they're going for. That's right. Because uh, half of these people are still punks. Yes. Although punk is dead, guys. Uh, for sure, even the edgy people are I cheesy. Mean, the 80s weren't that edgy. That's the thing. No. It's so funny <laughs> that in the movie they think they are. Yeah. And we're like, oh boy. <laughs> yeah. You're just another 80s You're costume. so cute. Yeah. And. Because they had I, a tattoo. <laughs> yes. Uh, and I like that it's it's not just music. Of course it's clothes. Of course it's a lot of the, the trendy things of the time. Um, but even uh, it references other 80s movies. So really this movie is just filled with Easter eggs. That's fun to play along. I think there was a nice little prom nod to Pretty in Pink. Uh, yeah, I just... It's fun. I just had a good time. Even I'm watching this movie and I know like this is not really <laughs> a great movie. And yet for me it was fun. Yeah. If so, what else, you know... It's something that you can put on and you can sing along to. Uh -huh. it, it, it won't mean anything unless you know these songs, though, I don't think. Like, or the references. It, I guess it's still fun music, but I don't think it's the same. Yeah, but I mean, a lot of these, this music has already been in commercials. Oh, that's true. You should know all the songs. Every, yeah, there's no excuse no matter what age you are. You're going to know the bulk of these songs, I think. That's a good point. I mean, the icons of the time, like Madonna and the Jacksons, and these, these things come back. We have not really even entirely let go. And Wham, I guess. <laughs> oh, true. Yeah, that's a recognizable one, I think. But I guess I'd be interested to find out. To find out. Do people even recognize these references? We'll or is see. it just me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Am I just... <laughs> You're the only one. I'm though. the only one. You're the only one cool enough for this game. Oh, that's how it works. I'll take it. <laughs> Good for you, hon. Thanks, yeah, sir. just hold on to that. Okay, well, we are recommending this one if you are up for having the 80 vibe good time. 
it is totally awesome. Radical. You might even say that, yes. Tubular? <gasps> I wouldn't go that far. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.